Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. I'm still away from home, but the roadmap was just updated, so let's take a look at the more important features planned for patch 3.6 in 1 minute and 20 seconds. During the live Q&A with Todd Pappy, he mentioned that there were great improvements coming for the HUD and the UI elements. This is the first part that you're going to see on the roadmap, at 0 of 10. 3.6 should include more external variation of the truck stops. There are plans to improve both ship-based AI and dismounted AI. Your digital foe should react better to your actions. There will be a ship hover toggle, expanded in-game rentals, improved jump and mantle, improved wear system, and the first implementation of system misfire, which was also mentioned by Todd Pappy. This is going to work with the wear system to give you visual indicators of your ship's condition. We're also expecting the first pass of law. Two reworked ships, the P-52 and the Vanguard Warden, and the release of three ships to flight. The P-72 is the luxury variant of the P-52, which comes standard on the Connie Phoenix. We'll be able to dock it on the other Connies as an upgrade. The Banu Defender is scheduled, and this will be our first look at the Banu Ship Style Guide, which is supposed to be unlike anything we've seen so far. The 890 Jump is due to release, and what can I say that you don't already know? The ship is massive, luxurious, high-tech, and we've been waiting for it for 5 years. 3.6 also introduces ship-grade neutron repeaters, plus the regular battery of quality of life and back-end improvements. There you go, short and sweet like you've come to expect from me. Stay tuned for more, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.